Hello, we've all probably heard stories of a thunderstorm hitting a town or a village or even somebody's house and then coming inside the house and taking out a computer or TV or something like that. But what happens with Ethernet networks? Do they actually need surge protection too? Because after all, you've kind of got a metal street cabinet somewhere and if that got hit by thunderstorms, isn't it going to send lightning down the fiber optic cables into people's houses and then ultimately through Ethernet cables and network switches and destroy everything. And if not, why does Ubiquiti actually sell surge protection units and why do I actually have two of these in my house and my property? Well, here's the thing. In general, you've got your internet cabinet that has surge protection. And also any fiber optic cables that are run are immune from lightning strikes and power surges and things like that. That's because fiber optic cables have a long thin strand of glass or plastic type material inside of them and then pulses of light go through them. They're not electrical copper based cables like Ethernet or DAC are. And as a result, lightning cannot actually travel through fiber optic. Plus the street cabinet itself is surge protected. They actually take steps to protect against that. So why do surge protection units actually exist then? Why do Ubiquiti sell them? Why do I have two of them? Well, here's the thing. I've actually run, in my case, I've run an Ethernet cable from my living room all the way to my detached garage, which is around 15 meters away. In that case, although the cables are buried underground, if there was lightning strike somewhere, it could potentially hit that. And then I would be susceptible to lightning strikes because I, like an idiot, I run copper ethernet and not fiber optic cables from my house to my garage. So I've opened up a potential risk there where I am at risk or my networking equipment at least is at risk of lightning strikes. So in my case, I've actually got a surge protection unit on either side, one in my garage, one in my living room, and in theory, that should hopefully arrest any lightning strikes. But for everyone else, no, you do not need surge protection units for you know, your networking switches or your ethernet cables and things like that. As long as you're not running ethernet cables outside of your house, you just don't need it. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please click the thumbs up button and please subscribe to see more short videos like this. Thanks for watching.